Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about red cell indices. The red cell indices, they are used for quantitative measurement of the RBC, volume, the amount and concentration of hemoglobin in them. They are of importance in diagnosis of various types of anemias. Now the various RBC indices, before discussing them in detail, firstly we will just briefly discuss them. They are MCV, that is mean cell volume. This gives us a measure of average volume of RBCs. Second is MCH, that is mean cell hemoglobin. This gives us the average of hemoglobin present in each RBC. What is MCHC? MCHC is average concentration of hemoglobin present in all erythrocytes volume. Last is RDW. It gives us a measurement of variability between erythrocyte size. Now going to each one, firstly going to MCV. So MCV as we already discussed, it is gives us the measure of average size, the volume of RBC. Now every uh, RBC indices, they can be either measured nowadays like they are measured by automated instruments. Or they can also be used, um, uh, measured by semi-automated instruments or also by manual method. Now the manual method used for calculation of MCV is we divide the hematocrit that is the packed cell volume by the RBC count and the units in which it is expressed is femtoliters. Now it we have already known that it corresponds to the red cell volume or red cell diameter on the blood smear. The normal MCV it ranges between 80 to 100 femtoliter. There are various causes of decreased and increased MCV. Now here we can see in this picture that these RBCs they are smaller in size. They have decreased MCV. However, we can see over this, this cell is uh, having a large size. That is, these are macrocytosis. They show they are macrocytic RBCs. That is, MCV is increased. Now, going to the causes of increased MCV, that is, macrocytosis. The macrocytosis can be due to megaloblastic anemia. That is, due to B12 and folic acid deficiency. Or, there can be non-megaloblastic causes also, like seen in alcoholism, liver disease, hypothyroidism, and also in normal pregnancy, newborns, these are the physiological conditions. Going to decreased MCV. Decreased MCV leads to microcytic, microcytic anemia. That are the causes we will discuss of microcytosis. The microcytosis can be due to sideroblastic anemia. It can be due to iron deficiency anemia, very important cause. Another very important cause is thalassemia and lastly anemia of chronic disorders. To remember the causes of low MCV, we can just remember it by the name CETA, the first alphabet of each disease. Now going to the second RBC indices, that is the mean cell hemoglobin. Now what is mean cell hemoglobin? It denotes the average amount of hemoglobin present in single RBC and how we calculate is we divide the hemoglobin by the RBC count which will give us the amount of hemoglobin in each red blood cell. The unit used here is picogram and the average the reference range is 27 to 32 picograms. Now there are various causes of increased or decreased MCH. Now MCH is decreased in cases of microcytic hypochromic anemia like iron deficiency, thalassemia and MCH can be increased in cases of macrocytic anemia because of increase in the size of RBCs, B12 deficiency, folic acid deficiency. Going to the next a very important RBC indices that is MCHC that is the mean cell hemoglobin concentration. Now what is it? It is average concentration of hemoglobin in erythrocytes. It is not per single erythrocyte. It is per the volume. Okay, so we will differentiate. How we differentiate? That the MCHC, it denotes the amount of hemoglobin per unit volume of RBC 
In contrast to MCH, MCHC, it correlates the hemoglobin content with the volume of the cell. And the formula which is used to derive it is we divide the hemoglobin by the hematocrit. And the units here will be of MCHC will be grams per deciliter. Now going to the various causes uh, of uh, firstly we will see the picture. This is the diagram. This we can see here. These, are, these cells are hyperchromic. They show hyperchromia. Therefore, the, in these cases, MCHC will be increased. However, here we can see there are hyper, hypochromic cells. There is MCHC decreased. Now, uh, before understanding, uh, so what does MCHC denote? It denotes the degree of hemoglobinization of the red cells. If the MCHC is normal, that means the cells are normochromic. If it is low, that means the cells are hyperchromic. Hypochromic. Now, MCHC is raised in cases of hereditary spherocytosis and autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Actually, there are no hyperchromic anemias. How do then MCHC is increased in these conditions? Is because in spherocytosis, MCHC is increased because the cells they have a spherical shape and when uh, per unit volume is used, the MCHC comes to be higher. I have a separate video on the hereditary spherocytosis. You can watch it also. Going to the cause of decreased uh, uh, MCHC, that is iron deficiency anemia. So MCV, MCH and MCHC all are decreased in cases of iron deficiency anemia. A very important cause of microcytic hypochromic anemia. Going to the last RBC indices, that is the red cell distribution width. Now, it is um, used to measure the degree of the variation in the cell red cell size. That is the anisocytosis in a blood sample. Because uh, there are some like in microcytic anemias, if we have to differentiate between the beta thalassemia trait and iron deficiency anemia, the RDW is low in cases of beta thalassemia trait and is higher in cases of iron deficiency anemia because in iron deficiency anemia the red cells they have variety of sizes okay and the combination of a low mcv and a high rdw is the best screening for iron deficiency anemia as we can rule out the causes like of beta thalassemia trait. The normal RDW ranges from 9 to 14.5. Now going to the where we have discussed the RBC indices, the importance. The main importance is do, uh, the morphological classification of anemias. Because of these RBC indices, the main differentiation of anemia into three types that there is normocytic normochromic anemia, there is microcytic hypochromic anemia, and macrocytic normochromic anemia. There is no hyperchromic anemia. So, this is made on the basis of RBC indices, and also a very important differentiation of iron deficiency anemia from the thalassemia trait is also made by using various RBC indices. So this was all about the RBC indices. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe. Ask any queries regarding this topic in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video.